Hi everyone, I'm JD from the Webbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited to finally share with you the finished vintage bag journal that we've been having fun making throughout the month of June. And I went away and I added my ephemera and um, um, embellishments, closure and a little stamp tag there. I just love how that just adds to the journal and especially love this brass key that I've attached to the closure. So that just finishes it off, I think. So let me take that one off so I can open it and show you the full flip through. It is available if anyone is interested. Um, just contact me, my email will be in the description box below. Let me know what country you're from so I can include a shipping price as well. And there we go. There's the cover with the stitching all around and let's go in okay so got one of my tags collage tags at the front so so fun got a vintage french vocabulary card glassine bag i put one of the um envelopes in here vintage style envelopes and i chose this one because of the deer so i definitely needed to include that one and then we've got the vintage music page had so much fun putting this together. We've got the um, coffee dyed bag here and there's a folded contract score pad there. So you can open that and that's great for writing space. Pattern paper, vellum, flashcard, photo. And there's this cool playing card in here with the flower design on the front. Vintage ledger. And this is a vintage receipt in this glassine bag here. I love this stamped um, piece that I did here. And this is a vintage library card. We've got a vintage photo slide in here. Poetry page. In here we have, what do we have? Another one of my tags that I've stitched around. I'm using vintage magazine page. And there's still some writing space. There's vintage cigarette card or tea card. Um, this came from Bonnie and Clive, um, 1979. So there's a coin, an Australian coin from 1979 in there. And then just put a vintage bridge card or score sheet page in there. And lots of all different types of pages. This is the one where it's found ephemera. I love found ephemera. And it just has... Um, notes written there that was found inside a sewing book. I think it was an Edith Gilchrist or Enid Gilchrist vintage sewing book that I found that in. This is an envelope and I've just stuck in a vintage receipt page again in there. The middle page with the heart. In here is a coin envelope and there is another one of my collage tags just in a different style. And then we've got a vintage check page or something like that, invoice page. Another vintage page, this one actually came from my sister-in-law's grandma. We have an envelope here, paper clipped on. Lots and lots of pages, such a fun journal. And we have another one of my tags inside there. Glassine bag. I'm loving all the bags and the pockets. And this is a vintage card. If I can open it. <laughs> then we've got the butterflies here and some extra writing page paper. <laughs> There's a photo in this pocket or bag. A little cute little piece here. Coffee dyed Rolex card, another one of the dog cards. This one I stapled on. So, yeah, really fun journal. Lots of pages, lots of variety. Oh, this one doesn't have anything in it. I'll have to put in. Let's put something in there. Let's put in a few of these fun. <laughs> trying to pick them up. 
let's put in a few of these fun uh, wax seal stickers in that pocket there. That's fun. I love that. <laughs> and then we've got a little label card here and then some extra goodies in the back for you to play with. There's that um, poem or song. I love a lassie um, that I couldn't find a spot for it inside. So I just put it there and another envelope with some goodies. I think it's some vintage stamps in there. So yeah, that is the journal. I hope you enjoyed the flip through and the making of the series. And like I said, if you're interested, just contact me through email and let me know what country you're from so I can include a shipping price. And yeah, it's a bit chunky. That's why I, I included the closure. <laughs> so I hope that can be a special treasure for someone to journal in and make their own. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.